Welcome everyone to today's video. My name is Ben Williams. I work at Tech Impact. Today we're going to be looking at how to check out and check back in a file. So we're in our SharePoint document library here. So we have a bunch of different ways that we can get to the option to check out a file. We can go up to our files tab where we have some options here for working with our documents. We have check out right here under open and check out up at the top. I can also just right click on my file to get to a context menu and we have this under this more option here as well. And then we have advanced down at the bottom in this context menu. We have our checkout option here as well. So when I click on checkout, what that's actually going to do, it's going to lock this file so that only I am able to edit it. And the other thing is when people go to take a look at this document, they can still open it up. However, they're only going to be able to see a read-only preview of the file since it is locked for editing to me. And they're going to see the version of that file that existed before I checked it out. So as I'm making changes to this document while I have it checked out, if I were another person who is going in here to try to work on this document and I find out, oh, it's checked out, I can't edit this, you are definitely able to see who it's checked out to. So you'll notice on our word icon here, there's this green arrow that is sort of pointing down. That's what indicates that this document is checked out to someone. I can also just hover right over this to see who this file is checked out to. If you do really need that file, you can then reach out to that person however you need to and see if they're able to check that back in. The other thing to be aware of is if you're not able to get in touch with that person, an administrator is always going to be able to check a file back in for other people. I've made my changes in here. I can go ahead and check this back in as if I had finished my drafting and was ready for folks to see this. So I can go back to my contacts menu and I have advanced here. We do also actually have this option to discard checkout. And what that's going to do is just get rid of any of those changes that I have been making up to this point, and it'll revert back to the version of this document that existed before I had checked it out. But for our purposes, we'll do check in right here. And we have a couple options when we go to check a file in. So this first thing, it's asking us if we want to retain the checkout after we check it back in. So if I said yes here, Really what that's going to do is just publish what I've done so far, but keep this checked out to me. Keep it locked so that no one else can edit it. Um, and any changes I make subsequent to this, folks will not be able to see either if I were to do yes on this first question. I'm going to leave it on no for right now. And then we have a, a comment section here. So you can actually leave sort of an audit trail with this check in and check out of what changes you are actually making with this file. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.